Hi, my name is Brittany Hoppy. I am one of the teachers here at the Roosevelt Walker Community Center and I will be giving you a tour of the school today. Here is the gate that the day starts off at where the parents drop off and pick up at. They sign in and the kids start their day. So we're gonna come over here. Here is the playground that the kids spend the time at today, every day. Kids are here at half a day, spend 30 minutes. If they're here all day, they spend an hour, 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon. So here is the garden that the center has started. Each classroom has their own garden. So the kids dig the dirt, they dig the hole, they plant the seed, and every day we have water set up at our little mud sinks that they can play with. And at the end of the day, instead of wasting the water, the kids use it to water the garden. And then right over here, we have a door that will lead the kids to the bathroom. So if we're outside, they have access to a bathroom, which will always be supervised. And then we're gonna start coming in our classroom. Every child has their own cubby. So when they come, they put their backpacks, blankets, they put on their little red vest and name tags. So each one has their picture and then they can put all their personal stuff in it. And then we have the quieter, the great books or if they're having a hard day, they can sit in our little quiet queue where we work with their breathing to help them calm their bodies down, to help them cheer them up to make them feel better. And then over here we have our tables where we spend, we have breakfast, lunch, and snack. And then they also do their small group activities which go from drawing, coloring, playing with Play-Doh, depending on what the lesson is. So we have our math area, science area, art area, we have a sink for hand washing before, after meals. Another door that leads to the bathroom where they have two kids side sinks. It shows how to wash hands so the kids see the steps. And then we have three children's size toilets and a big toilet that a lot of the older kids use. And then our daily schedule which shows what time. It shows what time each child is getting home so when they start getting homesick they'll see. We have our dramatic play area where the kids get to use their imaginations. It's a little kitchen setup right now, but it changes throughout the year depending on the lesson. On the wall, we have the family tree where parents are encouraged to bring family photos so the kids can see their loved ones throughout the day. And then we have the carpet where we do our dancing, our story time, and a lot of the learning as a group. Well, thank you for joining us in our classroom. I hope you had a great time, and we hope to see you and your students soon. Thank you.